V1 has been designed to assist golfers understand the absolute cause of their faults as determined by the physics of the ball flight laws. Once you understand why your ball flies the way it does, you can effectively work on correcting the faults in your swing causing this. There are four flight characteristics to a golf shot. 1. Trajectory 2. Distance 3. Initial direction and 4. Curve There are five factors that influence these flight characteristics. Club head path at impact, club face position at impact, centeredness of contact, angle of approach and club head speed. These are called the ball flight laws. Trajectory of flight and distance a golf ball travels are primarily influenced by centeredness of contact, angle of approach and club head speed. The initial direction a golf ball travels is determined by a combination of club head path at impact, club face position at impact and club head speed can also influence these two factors. Club head path at impact refers to the direction our club is approaching the ball. To understand the effect our club head path has on our ball flight, we shall remove the other factors and consider only a club face position that is square to the path of our club head. The club head can approach impact moving directly along the target line, from inside the target line or from outside the target line. Approaching impact along the target line will result in the ball travelling towards the target, straight. Approaching impact from inside the target line will result in the ball travelling to the right of the target, push. Approaching impact from outside the target line will result in the ball travelling to the left of the target, pull. Club face position at impact is the only factor causing curvature of the golf ball to the left or right. It is important to note that club face position at impact is always discussed relative to the path the club is travelling. The club face position can either point to the left of our club head path, which is closed, be it 90 degrees to our club head path, square, or point to the right of our club head path, open. A square club face imparts no side spin to the golf ball, causing it to continue along the initial starting direction dictated by the path of the club head. A closed club face will impart anti-clockwise spin, causing the ball to curve to the left, a hook. An open club face on the other hand imparts clockwise spin, causing the ball to curve to the right, a slice. The degree to which our club face is closed or open at impact can also influence the starting direction of our ball flight. For example, a club face that is significantly open at impact may start our ball to the right of the target, regardless of the club head path. At this point, it is important to note the effect club head speed has in this equation. Quite simply, the slower the speed of the club head, the greater the influence the club face position on starting direction. There are only nine possible ways a ball can travel from the factors affecting shot direction. In model one, a ball can start left, continue straight left, a pull, curve more to the left, a pull hook, or curve back to the right, a pull slice. In model two, a ball can start straight, continue straight, start straight and curve left, which is a straight hook, or start straight and curve right, a straight slice. In model three, a ball can start right, continue straight right, a push, curve more to the right, a push slice, or curve back to the left, a push hook. These nine ball flight characteristics can have any number of variations from slight to severe. In summary, when analysing your goal swing, firstly note any curvature to your ball flight. This allows you to identify if you have a face problem at impact. Without the aid of a video camera and V1 Golf, the only way to check the path of the club head at impact is to look where your divot pattern is pointing. For example, left, straight, or right. Using V1 allows us to accurately identify the path of our club head at impact. Note where your club head is halfway in the downswing. When the club shaft is parallel to the ground, it should be parallel to the target line, which would be termed on plane. If the club head is under the shaft plane, it is approaching impact from an inside path. If the club head is above the plane line, it is approaching impact from an outside path. 
Combining this knowledge with any curvature of your shots allows you to identify if you have a path, face or path and face error as it relates to your impact condition. The identify your faults section in V1 will intuitively step you through this process to identify any flaws in your swing and prescribe corrective drills.